morning. So, uh, Monday morning, how you doing everybody? We're going to do our 10 minute guided meditation. The purpose of this is to practice together and it's not as much about learning except for the type of learning by doing, well, actually the best type of learning, so correct me. Um, <clears throat> so, if you don't know the exact parameters of the practice that we're talking about, you can go back in the Facebook archive videos and look at the video entitled The Foundation of Meditation and also the one called PTSD versus PTG because we're gonna do an exercise from each. But moving into the exercises themselves, we're gonna start with the fog breath. First, take a comfortable seat. A little sigh. Sighing is something always available to us and more profound than you think. But big breath into the belly and chest. Quick, fog out. Breathe in, and like you're fogging a glass, out. Feel the softness in your chest and in your breath and in your mind as it settles down. And then just bring on, make any adjustments that you need and get in a comfortable seat. I'm sitting upright in a chair Morning, Mom. Just take a moment. Notice your breathing. Just allow yourself to arrive and settle. Maybe you rushed to get here, or you've been rushing around for the morning routine, or doing your Facebook thing, or whatever it is. But just take a pause. It's when we pause that we can make a deliberate choice. But when we're going, 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 we're often in autopilot mode. And then when we're in autopilot mode, we react. And when we react, we're reacting the past. But when we pause, we can choose to create a new future. So let's just pause together. Tongue on the roof of the mouth, lightly. All that just means is just Lightly resting your tongue on the roof of the mouth. It's not a hard thing. Spine is erect. Become aware of the sensations in your body, the sensations of aliveness wherever you notice them. And now favoring the sensations in your hand, in your left hand, spreading up through your wrist, your left forearm, elbow, upper arm, left shoulder, left neck, head, face, right shoulder, neck, right upper arm, right elbow, right forearm, right wrist, right hand, fingers, throat, chest, Smiling down, back, abdomen, groin, noticing, noticing that you're noticing, thighs, knees, shins and calves, ankles, feet, toes. Noticing an enhanced sense of aliveness throughout the whole body. Just like when we talked about priming last night. As you notice that you're noticing and that you place your attention on your noticing, the sensations of aliveness, things become more alive. Be curious, explore. There's nothing right or wrong to notice or simply noticing. And 
as you're aware of the sensations in your body, the aliveness in your being, allow your awareness to expand out to the space around your body, the space in front of your body, behind your body, to the left, to the right, above your body, below your body, and in the center. Noticing aliveness and space. And this noticing can be enhanced and deepened in the state of equanimity. It can be <clears throat> empowered through the practice of open listening. Just notice that you're listening. And notice whatever sounds arise. Whatever sounds are near, perhaps farther away, or farther than that. Noticing the sensations of aliveness in your body, the space around your body, and the ever-present sound. Notice the tendency perhaps to label a sound or make a judgment or I don't like this sound or I do like that sound and how that actually cuts you off from the flowing awareness of the next sound. It's normal. You just allow it to come and go. As you open your listening to whatever sounds are arising, you open your noticing to whatever sensations you're feeling and to the space all around your body. aliveness, sensation, space, listening. And as you practice this open listening, you begin to discover a sense of quiet. It is underneath all sound and it gives rise to all sound. Just like noticing gives rise to all experience. And now to flavor the experience Consider what would it be like to be more alive today, to be more joyful, open, loving, kind, aware. How might I notice more of these virtues and values? How might I experience them, express them, consider them, allow them? Now bringing to mind someone who is not present with you and allow your body to be organized as if they were here. Imagine if they were here and not only are they here, but they're thriving, they're happy. They're alive. 
they're great, they're grateful. See them thriving, see them thr and feel what that feels like in your body. And now together you're both thriving and allow that thriving to spread to others and others still. There's our 10 minute alarm. Have a great day. See ya.